Oh man, stable coins on the verge of ending, ending in existence. And it's all because of this demon right here, Janet Yellen. I'm yelling at Janet to stop messing around with crypto. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to regulate it, man, uh, because it's unregulated right now. There's a lot of rug pulls. It's pretty much is the wild, wild west. Anything can be done to anyone in cryptocurrency right now. So I understand why the government is doing it, but I still also understand that they just want a piece uh, and want some control. So a lot of the influencers and cryptocurrency investors are making videos about it, such as Andre, Andre right here. That's a good video. You should check that one out, but keep watching. I'm going to get deeper into this pause. All right. This is another good video. The U.S. digital dollar versus cryptocurrency stable coin regulation coming soon. They're looking to regulate. So now you understand why a lot of the cryptocurrencies are collapsing and falling apart because of the fear of this right here. OK, so let's get over here. OK, so this is an article. I'll link to it. Cryptocurrency market slide as Yellen leads mounting regulatory scrutiny. OK, U.S. Treasury Secretary urges quick action to address stablecoin market. OK, so some people can be protected and saved by a little bit of regulation, but also if it's regulated, the possibility of making as much as you would have kind of goes down a little bit and the things that you could do to make money in cryptocurrency will be controlled. So it'll be different. So the whole point in creating the cryptocurrency is to get away from US government regulations and all of those extra uh, restraints and everything that we're used to. Okay. All right. So cryptocurrency markets have been, uh, have come under renewed pressure after top U.S. officials, including Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, said they expect to issue recommendations on stable coins. So it's recommendations for now, y'all. Important assets in the digital economy in the coming months. Bitcoin has slipped about $2,000 over the past two days to about 29500 leaving the most actively traded coin flirting with lows it's uh, reached late last month. Other major coins such as Ether and Binance have also come under selling pressure. So this is why a lot of people are panic selling and flipping out and tripping and trying to swap to something safer, they believe. But it's, there's no running from it, guys. Like whatever we create, the government is going to try to come for. So you got to do your civil war thing and fight back pretty much for your independence. All right, the crypto retreat, the crypto retreat comes as a global financial watchdogs have been clamping down on the sector after years of almost unrestrained growth. So anytime something happens, whether you're an inventor or, or you're a black guy building a business, whatever it is, they'll ignore you for a while. But when you start creating something that's like making waves and shaking up industries and they don't have a piece of it, they're going to swoop in as if they're trying to save everybody or protect people, or they just want to watch from the outside and give insurance, but it's really to take over, okay? So Yellen underscored the need to act quickly to ensure there is an appropriate U.S. regulatory framework in place, an appropriate meaning by their rules, okay? At a president's working group on financial markets, she convened on Monday to discuss the tokens, according to details released from the meeting. Participants discussed the rapid growth of stable coins and their potential use as means of payment, as well as potential risks to consumers. Okay, so yes, we can make payments, we can buy things, we can do a lot of things with it, and it's powerful she's talking about, but she's also emphasizing the risks to uh, to consumers and it is a risk well that's why we have cryptocurrencies like um, amp crypto that secure transactions for consumers and everything like that so we got to cover it we don't need you guys the financial system and national security the treasury said all right attendees of the meeting included the heads of the federal reserve look at this man <laughs> They just want a piece. All right, it's the Securities and Exchange Commissions, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and the Treasury, as well as the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency and Federal Deposit Insurance uh, Corporation. Buying cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Dogecoin directly with standard currencies like dollars or sterling can be a cumbersome process. Stablecoins aim to make it easier. 
They are privately issued digital tokens pegged to other assets and many claim to be backed one to one with dollars. <sighs> Tether is the biggest and half of all Bitcoin trades are transacted using it. According to Crypto Compare, its closest competitor USD coin has grown more than 3,400% since January, according to operator payments technology company Circles, which announced plans to list on the New York Stock Exchange this month. But the gathering of top US watchdogs this week reflects rising uh, concern among governments and central banks about potential risks ranging from stable coin um, potential use in money laundering to their impact on monetary policy. So, I mean, monetary uh, money laundering has been around forever. They haven't stopped it with regular currency, but other different types of currencies. So don't try to mask it as if you're just trying to come in and save everybody and keep everybody safe. The vast reserves that stablecoin operators need to maintain to honor their pledge of one-to-one -one backing also pose potential risk. So they're trying to tidy it up, supposedly. All right, Tether's reported holdings of short-term debt known as commercial paper make it one of the largest holders in the world. Rating agency Fitch has warned that any rapid liquidations of such substantial reserves could destabilize the short-term debt markets. Last month, Eric Rosengren, president of Boston Fed, named Tether as a possible challenge to financial stability. Earlier in July, Fed Chair Jay Powell told the Senate Banking Committee that stablecoins were growing incredibly fast but lacked sufficient regulation. They don't like anything to grow beyond their control. But what the government needs to understand was it wasn't created to be controlled by the freaking government in the first place. So of course it's going to grow beyond your control. The reason why it's so popular is because it doesn't have your control. No, if people think you have control over it, they're going to want to, then they ain't going to want it. It loses the entire appeal of having a cryptocurrency if you know that it's regulated by the government. So yes, it's risks. Just like it's risking any freaking uh, um, investment, it's risking the freaking investments that you that you guys do regulate. So I mean, it's really not bringing any safety. So you can't mask it as safety, for real, for real. You know they don't give a damn about that. Okay, they they just want a piece. That's all, guys. So I just wanted to bring this news to you. You know, hey, stay strong.